old John boat. You think it's been sitting about 25 years? Yeah, I got some WD-40 if you want to put on that hinge. Yeah, I got. I brought some too. Oh, the, uh, the driver's door opens a whole lot better, but that one is kind of frozen. Yeah. But uh, somebody asked me when it's motor free in it, and uh, of course you can see the motor turns over. Oh, that's awesome. The motor's free. Uh, Very cool. But ain't nothing been touched though. That's the way he shut it off 25 years ago. It looks all original. It looks like an old old 40 horse. That's what I remember him saying something about. For, I, I'm not a Volkswagen person. Yeah. Uh, I remember him saying 40 horsepower, and I remember him saying 65 models. That's the reason I put 65 question mark on the, on the thing, because I don't know what your mind it is. It looks like a 65. The 64, 65, 66, they all kind of look about the same. Ooh, there's a little surprise. <clears throat> That's got to come look better. He, he spit on his hand and rubbed the roof here. And, uh, a lot of that's just dirt right there. Uh, yeah. He, he rubbed a uh, spot here pretty clean on it. It probably wash up and look a whole lot better than it does. It's got 25 years of dust sitting on it. Yeah, the floor pans always rust out. There's a little bit of rust here, but that's pretty normal. This one's go this one's turning now. Broke free. Pull it out a little bit further, kind of get it flat. A little bit more? Yeah. That's pretty good. All right. I don't see none sliding around under here, but. Yeah. Been a long time since there's been any daylight hit that. <laughs> oh yeah, it's been a while. Wow. It's been sitting for a while. Looks like it's been sitting 50 years. I might need a new bumper. <laughs> what was the price? 500? If it was up to me, yeah. Ooh, like, man. Like I told you. It, it always looks better in the pictures, doesn't it? Yeah, it's up. Uh, <laughs> you get those uh, beer goggles on. It's got Sears it, tires on it. Does it really? Yes, I guess Sears are yeah. old tires. Oh, oh, that one on the front, you can see the Sears on the inside of it. Man, those are old. Wow. Those are some old tires. It's been sitting a long time. Long time. Well, I know it. He was driving it 25 years ago, and he, he quit using it. And... All right, let me grab some WD-40 and get the jack under there. Jenner, do you see anything under here that uh, was Ed's that needs to go? I don't think they, uh, that Coca-Cola box. But... Got an original jack with it. Oh, that's awesome.
Yeah. Yeah. Well, like I say, it's just like he cut it off 25. We ain't took the first nut, bolt, screw, and nothing off of it. Nah, that's cool. It's a little rusty, but that gives it character. Yeah, I sure would like to follow you on, uh, and uh, watch you restore it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I'm sure my wife would be tickled to, to see it. Kind of window shade or something. Else. <laughs> If you can straighten that steering wheel up while it's getting up in the air. If this wheel here wasn't spinning, they don't have to break it loose. Fishing stream. Steering wheel spins easy now that it uh, ain't sitting on flat tires. What is it? I said the steering wheel spins easy now that it ain't sitting on flat tires. Oh, that's good. That's awesome. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that one. That's a, man. Look how old that thing is. Man, a, he's got like the original season. tires on there or something. It's crazy. The brakes are free. That's good. So this was your father-in-law's car. Yes, sir. Yeah, we're gonna have to get that thing out. Already doing body work on it. <laughs> yeah. We're 90% done. So you put it back 100% uh, original or you... Uh... I've never done one completely. I've started a bunch of projects. But the beetle that I did, the same, same beetle, um, I took it off the body. I took it off the chassis, completely rebuilt the chassis. And uh, we built the brand new engine. Thing, it's, a it's a big thing, and it's also it saves you a bunch of money. I got a '46 Chevrolet pickup up there that my daddy left me. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Wow. It was it was too far gone to put back original, so I uh, yeah kind of made a, a street ride out of it. But uh, yeah. Perfect. One down. Twenty-five percent there. Oh, those old pans are cool. When I, when I took pictures to advertise it, I told her, I said, you know, that thing's got a bunch of old cast iron in it. She said, I've been wondering where my daddy's cast iron went. You better not let that go with the car. <laughs> and uh, I, that, uh, the other guy that came and looked at it, uh, he wanted the dang cast iron more than he did the car. And I told him, maybe you can't have that. That's uh, my wife's. Uh, yeah, those are cool. Clean them up. Alright. No snakes so far. Did it free up or is it gonna have to take it loose? I can tap on that drum and uh yeah. get it to Let's see if we're free it up. Knock the rust out of it. Oh, 
feeling they're pretty good. All right, let's get that off of there. How, how far drive is it back to uh, where you come from? It's about seven hours. It's gonna be a long drive home. I was coming here is pretty smooth. I hit a couple storms, but yeah, we had a big storm here this morning. Yeah, you should have seen the the highway was stuff was blowing all over the place. They uh, big trees and uh, there was a couple road signs that were blown down. I don't know what time you leave here. I don't know if you're hungry or not, but you might want to eat before you get to that tunnel because you're going to be stuck in traffic. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Go, going back east over there, that, uh, that, that evening traffic. Is there any way around it? You'd have to go way north, but I, I think you'd be making a really big. Yeah, just fight, just suffer through it. Yeah, just sit there in traffic and enjoy all the thumbs up of the people that pulls up beside <laughs> of you. You'll be able to find a, another Volkswagen nut on the way home and offer you $50,000 for it and sell it before you get home. I wish. That'd be awesome. That is weird looking. Yeah, it is. You guys been here your whole life? Uh, pretty much. Uh, we I moved to Selma when I, uh, that's where I met my wife and that's where the, the car come from. Uh, when I went to college, and then it took me about 10 years up there before I could get her to move back down here. But Cars from where? Selma. Selma. So is this considered southeast Alabama? Uh, this is about as southwest as you're going to get in Alabama. Uh, uh, we're only uh, 10 miles from Mississippi. Oh, okay, gotcha. Now, these are the wrong threads for the old. Yeah, I brought the wrong one. I knew I was going to screw something. I'm going to find, find that channel and watch him work on this thing. Yeah, I'll send you guys. Break stick on there. Yeah. Uh, all right, I need a crowbar. Ooh. Yeah, workout. <laughs> you gonna try to drive straight back tonight? <laughs> yeah, I'll roll in at like midnight. Uh. Worn out. My wife will be like, what the hell? Uh. Uh, can one of you guys hold this? Uh, let's see. Just trying to keep it from moving back. I'm gonna get on the other side and beat on it. I'm wondering if we uh, put these two in there, can we put the crowbar over it and under it? And uh, maybe. We got two. Put it back in here. See if we can get a prize on it. We get it started spinning. There we go. That was a good idea. Ooh. Genius over here. Let's see if we can put that crowbar in there to keep it from going back as I'm hitting on it. Job, man. <laughs> All right, I'll give you 700 for it. <laughs> <laughs> Probably get, need to get this brakes off of here, huh? So before you do anything, you try to get the motor, see if it's running first? Yeah, I usually clean it out and see if the motor's seized. If it's seized, then I just pull it out. And hey, you see how you could turn it by hand back there? Turn what by hand? The engine. 
Oh yeah, yeah. I bet it'll start. It might not run good, but it'll start. I'm missing one. One of these probably dropped in the dirt. That might be there. There it is. Oh, we got them. We got five. Cool. Can we turn the wheel? Yeah. There you go. Can you jack it up a couple? All right, hold on. That'll work. What was your name again? Tanner. Tanner. Man, that's a cool name, man. Thank you. Yeah, did you come through the tunnel, I guess, I'm sure, on the way here? Yeah. So right before you come, right before you got in the tunnel, did you see, like, the big building over the top of the tunnel and to the left over there? Yeah, I, oh. saw, I saw the ship and all that stuff over there. Yeah, that's where I work. I build them ships. Oh, you do? Yeah. Oh, man, that's awesome. What do you do? You weld or what? Uh, structural fitter and welder, yeah. Wow, that's awesome, man. Yeah. That'd make a cool video. Yeah, well, uh, the, the big ships out there right now, are, they're called the LCSs. Yeah. Uh, you can you can YouTube some videos of them. There's some really cool ships. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I'll check it out. All right. Let's see what happens here. Put it down. Yeah, you can let it down. Woo. How long you been doing that? Uh, October will be 10 years of my Oh, nice. Tanner, mom is at Taco Bell. Do you want anything? Tried to lube it, lube it up and everything, it still squeaks. Alright, let's see. Oh. Ah. Start with the hard one, I guess. It's in neutral. It should be. Since you got it broke free, you reckon that the, the wheels would have enough leverage to have? might, yeah, yeah, let's try it. How long did it 
take to build the shit. Um, those big ones is about a year. We just started a couple more, uh, a couple new projects. <clears throat> Obviously, we've done built like almost 20 of those other ships, so we kind of got, got them down pat. But are they? Uh, those are all aluminum that you see. Oh, wow. That's cool. Uh, once, once we start a new one, you know, it takes a couple years to build it. Are they for uh, are they for the government? Or? Mm -hmm. Okay, are they battleships? So the um, the tri hole out there in the river is it's called the LCS, it's the Memorial Combat Ship. Yeah. Uh, we have a catamaran hole from the EDF. Uh, it's kind of like a, I think they're actually turning it into like a hospital boat. Oh wow. Uh, steel hull, steel boats that we just started building. Two different ones. One is a search and recovery boat. It's got like a giant winch on the back. And then uh, the other one is like a landing craft. Like, say like landing, uh, pretty much they put plumbers and people in it. They drive it up on the beaches and drop the gate. Oh, uh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. So we just started building a couple of them too. Working? I uh, got oil in there. Uh. My other bug looks almost just like this one. <laughs> same collar, same patina. Pretty funny. I only got it. Right some more. Oh yeah. We're going all the way around now. I'm glad you were here. <laughs> it's starting to come back to life. You get the wheels on it. Might be like Herbie the Love Bug and fire up it on its own. <laughs> I appreciate it, sir. That's similar to the year model of Herbie the Love Bug, ain't it? Yeah. With that number 53 on the door, you remember that, Tanner? Yeah. Yeah, I think Herbie's, I think Herbie is a 53. 1953, I'm not sure, it's right around there. Or no, it's not a 53, it's a, I think it's a 65. The 53's had like a oval window or a split window in the back. Lost too much. Oh, here they are. I know a lot of people that fully restore them. That's normally what they do is that Herbie paint scheme with a stripe and number and so. Yeah, that's a pretty popular build. The Herbie. It's probably the most uh, most famous beetle next to mine. <laughs> Sir, I appreciate it. I think you'd have liked your rat rod. Yeah. Yeah, you'll have to send me some pics. Uh, uh, if you have any. I took a 76 Chevy Love pickup truck that, oh. was, that was out in the bushes. It, it was, it should have went to the scrap yard. Yeah. And uh, I took the engine out of it, took the transmission out of it. I took the bed off of it, took the front clip off of it. Wow. So it was all it was was a frame and a cab, and I took the frame off and scooted it back toward the wheels, uh, about two foot, wow. which left a long frame up front. And then I put a, a a V8 Chevrolet motor in it, automatic transmission, and uh, I built a homemade bed for the back of it, and uh, put a Lincoln grill in it and a set of crutches to hold the grill grill struts up. And uh, um, anyway, 
we we had too many beers to drink one night and we was in the in the barn and uh i was looking at a magazine that uh, somebody was advertising some kind of super transmission and they called it transzilla <laughs> and uh i said i know what we call this truck we'll call it lovezilla i said give me that welder there you go. and i welded uh, in script writing lovezilla on the muffler that was on the side of the engine Oh, and uh, that name stuck, and everybody in the in this whole part of the country know about Lovezilla. Oh, that's awesome! Did you get some good pics? Uh, I think I've got one picture somewhere in here of it. Yeah, I'd like to see it. That's cool. That was kind of like pre-cell phones, social media. Well, the Facebook was around, but it wasn't. I know. I wish I would have. I mean, even back then, I wish I would have had a camera. I, I would make people mad at car shows. Uh, I parked next to this guy. He had a a sixty something model Mopar. Uh, it was it was red, cherry red. It had white leather interior. It was immaculate. Showroom condition. Wow. Hemi, all this Thanks, stuff. Man. My nice car to get to your pile of junk. And, uh, <laughs> He said, everybody knows I got the fastest car out here. I said, whoa, wait a minute. Oh, I said, uh, you half right. I said, it is a pile of junk, but you ain't got the fastest one out here. I said, this one uh, 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 wax you. He said, oh, no. And uh, I said, buddy, I'm telling you, across this parking lot, I'll be waiting on you on the other side. Three of them. No, he put those cars on. Oh, did he? Yeah. yeah. Well, he did that while I was doing the hard work on this one. You got all the junk out of there? I think so. Oh, it's got Cadillac floor mounts in there. That makes it ride better. I know. Can you get out of here? No, sir. We looked through it. I didn't see anything that looked sentimental. All right, guys, we got the beetle. It's back there. If you can see it, it's back there. <laughs> Going back through the tunnel in Alabama. It's gonna be a long ride home. Stay tuned. All right, guys, we made it back all the way from Alabama. Ooh, that was a long drive, but exciting. I was excited all the way there and I was excited all the way back. This thing is pretty cool. A little Mazda Tribute did us good, no issues. And the empty tow bar was awesome. Pulls this thing like a dream. You don't even know it's back there. It's pretty cool. Definitely worth uh, getting one if you have a Beetle. There it is. 
No, you're not seeing double. That's the one from Georgia that I pulled out of South Georgia. I think I'm gonna call it Georgia. I might call this one Georgia. Been trying to come up with a name for it for a while. Maybe we'll call this one Alabama. Keep it simple. I think they're both 65s. I haven't even ran the, the uh, number. I didn't run the VIN number on this one yet, so we're gonna find out here in a little bit. Same color, I think, and almost uh, very similar patina. But in the pictures, for some reason in the pictures, I thought this one was in better shape than Georgia. And now that I'm looking at it, Georgia, I think is in better shape than Alabama. So we'll see. They've got, uh, you know, I guess some areas are better than others. Just depends. <laughs> Either way, it's pretty rough. It's really rough. Um, it's got some surprises that I didn't see in the pictures like this right here, which is pretty bad. I don't know what they call this little area right here, but it is where the windshield wipers connect and the thing here. I don't know if it's called a cow or what, but it's, it's pretty much gone. I mean, that's, that's the metal that used to be there. So yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty bad in this year pretty rough but it looks cool it's got really cool patina I don't think we're gonna restore this one guys it needs too much unfortunately but it's still cool it's still a cool car and it's still worth saving uh, the patina original weathered look whatever you want to call it you know it's like an old worn out pair of blue jeans or broken in blue jeans they might have a couple holes but they're comfortable and you love them. So, yeah, I love both of these cars. They're awesome. And I want to thank the family. The family was really nice. Tim and his son, Tanner, and their family. Very nice people. I was only there for about an hour or so, but they were very helpful getting me this, getting this thing uh, loaded up. When I was leaving, the wheels almost were out of control wobbling back and forth and I kind of backed up and forth a little bit and they straightened out and I was very cautious for the first few miles and drove real slow so something's going on with the steering box it's okay if you're going straight and fast but it doesn't like going slow and around the corners so we got to figure out what's going on there I'm, I'm assuming it's the steering box is just shot and uh, yeah so we're gonna dig into this. This is the next day. We're gonna dig into it and see what's going on. It looks like it might have been in an accident. This is kind of bulged out right here a little bit. It looks like it might have got hit in right there. Definitely got hit there in the corner. Not real bad, but bad enough, so. I think the plan with this one, guys, is to keep it all original. Let's just get it cleaned in, inside and out, do the brakes, and uh, hopefully get it running. Let's see if the engine looks like. Looks like it got hit in the rear too, a little bit. The engine looks all original. Not sure if you guys can tell that number right there. We'll clean it up a little bit later, but it looks like you can see it. 94361152. And uh I'm not sure what that is. is. That a D down there? I'm not sure if this was a rebuilt engine. Swapped out. I'm not sure if this is the original one. Most of the time, at some point, they were swapped out. A lot of times, you know, within the first few years, they swapped them out with a, a factory rebuilt engine. Um, from what I understand. This looks like an original 40 horse to me. 
there's been a couple little things that they did over the years like I added this line here and a filter that's an old filter and a clamp and it looks like we're missing the fuel line coming in here I oh, here it is right here it just it just broke off there you see it There's some nest in here, and it's crispy, guys, but at the same time, it's pretty cool. And then there's stuff like this. There's holes here and there, but the windshield area looks way better than the uh, 65. On the 65, Georgia, I guess we'll call it Georgia now for now. I had to replace all this stuff all around here and all around there. The window had fallen out when I bought it and the whole luggage tray was gone. I had to replace all of that. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that this luggage tray is good. I hope it is. Let's, uh, Let's take a look under the hood here and get these straps off. Hood's a little crispy right here. Definitely want to be careful crawling in there, but check it out. Original spare tire. Looks like they probably used it at some point a couple times, but that definitely looks like an original tire, guys. I don't know. We'll, we'll take a closer look at it. Maybe you guys will know if it's factory or not. Yeah, they left some junk in here. So we'll go through it. Check out this Coca-Cola case. That's kind of cool. There's some old seat belts, some red ones. There's the jack. Yeah. Interesting. A spark plug, brand new spark plug in here. It's still got the case on it, but it's all gnarly looking. Wow. I'm hoping that there's no rust under there. But expect the worst, hope for the best. There's probably a big old hole under there. The uh, glove box is still there, that's pretty cool. There's a speaker and the radio, which is kind of neat. All right, let's get some of this junk out of here. All right, I'm gonna get this tow bar off of here. that easy all right let's take some of this stuff out of here There's some stuff in here, boys. <laughs> 